I see you. I see the heaviness in your heart, the worry etched on your face. You're not alone. Life throws challenges our way, and sometimes, it feels like, the weight is too much to bear. Life can be tough, and sometimes, anxiety and worry can weigh heavy on our hearts. But guess what? You're here for a reason. And I believe that God has a message just for you today. A promise that God will help you navigate through these storms. Trust me, you'll want to stick around till the end, because there's a powerful prayer waiting for you, and will give you comfort and relief you never felt before. Have you ever felt like the world is closing in on you? Like every step forward is met with a dozen steps back? It's okay, we've all been there. The truth is, anxiety is a formidable opponent. It's like a dark cloud that hangs over your thoughts, making every decision seem like a battle. You see, anxiety isn't just a fleeting worry, it's a persistent, nagging force that can make simple tasks feel like climbing mountains. The what-ifs pile up, and suddenly you find yourself paralyzed, afraid to take that next step. But here's the thing, you're not alone in this struggle. Imagine anxiety as a storm. It brews within, tossing your emotions like waves in a turbulent sea. It tells you that you're alone, that nobody understands. But the truth is, God understands. He sees the storm within you, and He's not intimidated by it. In fact, He's the calm in the midst of your storm, ready to guide you to serenity. So, let's break it down. What triggers your anxiety? Is it the uncertainty of the future, the fear of failure, or maybe the weight of past mistakes? Identifying these triggers is like shining a light on the darkness. It's the first step to understanding and conquering your anxiety. But don't be too hard on yourself. We all have triggers, and acknowledging them is not a sign of weakness, it's a testament to your courage. Remember, facing your fears doesn't mean you're weak, it means you're strong enough to confront them. Now, let me share a nugget of wisdom. In 1 Peter 5 verse 7 it says, Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Picture this, take those anxious thoughts, put them in a box, and hand them over to God. He's more than willing to carry that burden for you. It's like unloading a heavy backpack, suddenly your steps become lighter. In the grand scheme of things, your anxiety doesn't define you. It's a chapter, not the whole story. So, as we journey together today, remember that understanding your anxiety is the first step to overcoming it. You're not alone, and there's a way out of the storm. Stick around, there's more to discover. In those moments, when worry seems to be your only companion, remember this, God is not distant. He's not a passive observer. He's a loving Father, who cares about every detail of your life. You know, it's like having a close friend, who knows you inside out, the one you can call in the middle of the night, when everything feels like it's falling apart. Now, let's talk about God's promise. Imagine God handing you a personalized invitation that says, Come to me, with your worries, your fears, your doubts, I'm here for you. That's the essence of His promise. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Picture this, God's mighty hand, reaching down to lift you up. It's not a distant promise, it's a reality waiting for you to embrace it. You see, God doesn't promise a life without challenges, but He promises to be with you, through every challenge. He's not a distant deity, He's a present help in times of trouble. Think of it this way, when a child stumbles, a good parent doesn't stand by and watch. They reach out, scoop the child up, and comfort them. That's God's promise to you. He's there to scoop you up, when life knocks you down, to wipe away your tears, and to reassure you that you are not alone. So, when anxiety knocks on your door, don't answer it alone. 
invite God into the conversation. Pray, not as a desperate plea to a distant deity, but as a conversation with your ever-present Father. Pour out your heart to Him, share your fears, your hopes, and your dreams. He's genuinely interested in every detail. In Matthew 11 verse 28, Jesus extends a personal invitation, saying, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. It's an open invitation, and it's not just for the good days, it's for every day, especially the tough ones. God's promise is not a one-time offer, it's a continuous, unwavering commitment to walk with you through life's highs and lows. So, my friend, hold on to this promise. God will help you, not because you deserve it, but because He loves you. Stick around, there's more to discover in this journey of faith and hope. Patience is not our strong suit, especially when we're in the midst of chaos. We want instant solutions and immediate relief. But God operates in His own perfect timing. Let me illustrate this with a simple analogy. Think of life as a road trip. You're in the driver's seat, and God is the GPS. You're navigating through twists, turns, and unexpected detours. Now, imagine you come across a roadblock. Your GPS, in this case, God, knows the alternate route, the perfect detour, to get you where you need to be. But, here's the catch, the detour might take a bit longer. It's frustrating, right? You wanted the fastest, most direct route. But God, in His wisdom, sees beyond what we can see. He's not just taking you to a destination, He's shaping you into the person you're meant to be along the journey. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Trusting God is like handing over the steering wheel and letting Him navigate the twists and turns of life. Imagine trying to assemble a complex piece of furniture without the instructions. You might think you know the best way, but the result could be a bit wobbly. Now, imagine having the Creator of the universe giving you step-by-step -step guidance. That's God's role in our lives, the ultimate instruction manual. So, when life feels like a puzzle, missing a few pieces, trust that God is putting everything together, even if it takes longer than you'd like. His timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with our timelines. It's about relinquishing control and embracing the journey, knowing that God's plan is far more intricate and beautiful than anything we could devise. Consider this, a cake needs time to bake. You can't rush the process, it needs the right temperature and time for all the ingredients to come together. Your life is like that cake, and God is the master baker. Trust Him to perfect the recipe of your life, even if the baking time seems longer than expected. So, my friend, in those moments of impatience, when you're tapping your foot, waiting for the light to turn green, remember that God's timing is purposeful. Loneliness amplifies anxiety. It makes every struggle feel heavier. But, my friend, you are not alone. God is with you, and there's a community that cares. Let's explore this idea of community a bit more using a simple analogy. Think of your life as a journey and your fellow believers as travel companions. Now, imagine you're climbing a mountain. The path is steep, the air thin. You look around, and there's a friend beside you facing the same climb. Suddenly, the journey doesn't seem as daunting. In Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10, it says, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. It's like having a climbing buddy. Life's mountains are less intimidating when you know someone's got your back. Now, let's talk about God's role in all of this. In Psalm 34 verse 18, it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. God isn't a distant figure watching from afar. 
He's right there, close to you, especially in those moments when you feel broken or crushed. Consider this, in a storm, trees with deep roots stand tall, while those with shallow roots may topple over. Similarly, when life's storms hit, being rooted in a community of believers gives you the strength to weather the challenges. Imagine you're at a campfire. Each person has their unique story to share, their struggles and triumphs. As you listen and share, the warmth of the fire becomes a symbol of the shared journey. That's the beauty of community. We're not isolated flames. We're part of a collective glow that lights up the darkness. So, my friend, if you're feeling isolated in your struggles, know that you have fellow climbers on this mountain called life. Don't be afraid to share your burdens to lean on others when the path gets tough. And most importantly, lean on God. He's not a spectator. He's an active participant in your journey. In the end, life is not just about reaching the summit alone. It's about helping each other climb. Before we end this message, let me share a powerful prayer with you. I encourage you to join me in this moment of prayer. Keep watching and let's connect with God in this moment. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart heavy with the weight of worries. You know every thought, every fear that has been knocking at the door of my soul. Lord, it feels like I'm navigating through a storm and the waves of anxiety threaten to overwhelm me. But I remember your promise that in the midst of the storm, you are my anchor. Firstly, I want to thank you. Thank you for being a God who listens, who cares, and who understands. It's comforting to know that I don't have to face these struggles alone. Your word says in Psalm 34 verse 17, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Today, I cry out to you, knowing that you hear me. Lord, I want to lay before you the specific worries that keep me awake at night. You know the details of each concern, the anxieties that seem to grip my heart. It's like a tangled web, and I don't even know where to start unraveling it. But I trust that you see the bigger picture, even when my vision is clouded. I surrender my fears of the future, Lord. The unknown can be daunting, and it feels like I'm standing at the edge of a cliff unsure of what lies beyond. Help me to trust in your plan, knowing that your ways are higher than my ways, as it says in Isaiah 55 verse 9. Lord, I bring to you my struggles with patience. The waiting feels agonizing and impatience often knocks on the door of my heart. Remind me that your timing is perfect and that waiting on you is never in vain. Let me find peace in the waiting like a seed finding its strength in the soil before it blossoms. Thank you, Lord, for being a God who understands the depths of human emotions. Jesus, you walked this earth, faced challenges, and felt the weight of the world. You get it. And because of that, I can approach you with confidence, knowing that you empathize with my struggles. I express gratitude for the community you've placed around me the friends and family who lend a helping hand, the ones who listen without judgment. Thank you for their presence in my life, a reminder that I don't journey alone. As I lay these worries before you, Lord, I also want to express my gratitude for the moments of joy amidst the struggles. The laughter that pierces through the darkness, the small victories that bring a smile to my face. It's in these moments that I see your grace at work. Lastly, Lord, I surrender my will to yours. Your word in Proverbs 3 verse 6 says, In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. I submit my plans, my desires, and my dreams to you. Guide me, lead me, and let your will be done in my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Before we wrap up, I want you to know that there is hope. God sees you, and He cares. This journey might be tough, but with God, you're tougher. Remember to comment below, subscribe for more uplifting messages.
hit that like button and share this with someone who needs to hear it. Let's spread the message of hope and help each other walk through life's challenges hand in hand. Thank you for spending these moments with me. Remember, God will help you. You are not alone, and you will stop being anxious and worried. Until next time, take care, and may God's peace be with you.